What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Dark Dimension 3 video guide and playthrough for you. In today's video, we are moving on next now to the second last node of Dark Dimension 3 being node 15. You bet we're going to utilize the same characters as the previous nodes. Starting off here, Symbiote Spider-Man with his amazing defense down, his stun, his uh, the ability, the fact that he can apply a slow after his stun in addition to the perfect host passive, really granting his symbiote allies healing and drain. Um, you bet we're going to take advantage of this. This can be absolutely crucial moving on forward here in the next stage here of Dark Dimension 3. Next, synergizing the symbiote Spider-Man. It is going to be Carnage. And consistent with my previous notes, Carnage provides a lot of speed up, bleed, inflicting negative conditions and damage, and really synergizing with Symbiote Spider-Man due to the fact that he's also going to be healing thanks to uh, Symbiote's uh, synergy. Now, you're going to see in these first few attempts, I'm only going to use these two, but I finally had a chance to bring on a third character on board here to wrap this up. And you bet it is going to be Anti-Venom. A uh, couple reasons I'm bringing him on board. First of all, compared to my Venom, my Anti-Venom did actually have the five red, so I figured it was actually the no-brainer choice. In addition to that, um, Anti-Venom does have a revive. He's gonna apply some amazing uh, supportive buffs for our team. And in addition to that, he's really just gonna be able to benefit from having that synergy with Symbiote Spider-Man and gaining the access to the, to the drain and synergizing with Carnage for that speed up. With that being said, these are the three that I'm bringing on board now to the next wave. So with that said, let's dive right into the gameplay. Consistent with previous notes as well, you'll see that I separated Symbiote and Carnage to keep them away from each other. And also keep in mind, you guys, um, to be honest with you, this is really where the node does actually start getting harder uh, in terms of difficulty. And the nodes uh, 13 and 14, they were fine. But 15 is really where it starts picking up. And that's essentially when I need, I knew I needed to actually bring in a third character. I thought maybe two would be able to do it, but um, this node really proved that wrong. So I actually already had a few attempts here to just waste their ultimates in the beginning. But the really key thing is stunning Lieutenant in the beginning if you can because of the fact that you can see Merc Lieutenant has a lot of speed up and buffs that he can provide. By stunning Mer Merc Lieutenant, it gives us the advantage to really take down the car target we want actually um, being taken is going to be actually Scarlet Witch. So you can see I'm applying my ultimate on Scarlet Witch because Scarlet Witch needs to be the far first character to the fall. Otherwise, she's just going to keep healing this wave and then we'll be essentially in a never ending circle. And that's kind of what I realized firsthand. My first few attempts, I didn't realize who I should have been taking down first. I was deciding between Merc Lieutenant or Scarlet Witch, but um, Scarlet Witch is ideally the first target if you can. And it's quite... A pesky here as you can see because you, there is a couple of taunts we have to be mindful of juggernaut um you can see rhinos there so it might take a little bit of luck for you guys but fortunately in this capture here it was after a few attempts i was able to finally capture it i slowed down the video gameplay here because i wasn't sure if i was going to get killed so i did slow it down because i was hoping that i'd actually be able to finish off scarlet witch Fortunately, you see here in the gameplay, I did slow it down and I actually was able to finish her off here in the animation here. So uh, that was awesome that we finally took her down. As you can see, that's 23 out of 24 characters left. And this is where I do admit defeat because obviously without Carnage, um, Symbiote can't really do much without him. So that's why I do, I do just go ahead and just uh, basic, save my energy and uh, prepare for the next wave. Or excuse me, next attempt. With that being said now, with Scarlet Witch being taken down, you bet we have to take down Merc Lieutenant due to the fact that he provides so much benefits to his team. It's extremely important to use the stun once again on Merc Lieutenant and resume our attack because, you know, fortunately Merc Lieutenant is very squishy, but if we fo once again focus our damage, um, really utilizing that symbiote synergy, getting the speed up because of the fact that we're, conf we're inflicting so much damage, negative conditions, um, you bet it's going to build up and we can go ahead and just finish off Merc Lieutenant, uh, really starting to steamroll and build up that energy here uh, for us to take, the, take this wave down. And at this point, we do finish off Merc Lieutenant, leaving us with 22 out of 24 enemies left. The next wave does spawn at 16. So keep in mind, that means essentially we can actually wipe out this entire wave here uh, because there's only six characters left. Personally, I do recommend taking down targets um, that you guys can see that are weaker. You can see there that I do try to stun Rhino due to the fact that, you know, Rhino and Juggernaut do have the, the taunts. So by stunning them and slowing them down gives us a better chance to kind of attack who we want uh, without being interrupted. So with that being said, you can see that's what I meant. Um, Juggernaut does have his taunt up, so that leaves us no choice. Fortunately, due to the fact that, you know, a lot of our characters can actually chain attack, so it doesn't really impact us too much. Naturally, due to the fact that if, um, if Juggernaut is going to be taunting or Rhino, um, 
the chain attacks will likely result in you attacking either wasps or vision and you know it works hand in hand because we'll get that speed meter up regardless as we're weakening these guys with that being said vision does end up being the next target we take down and really at this point it's up to you guys there's not really a, a priority here it's really just trying to take advantage of the guys that are weaker so wasps rhino are weaker so we just want to take advantage um keep in mind this uh this roster does shine the synergy and and the, the, how this uh this team is run is due to the fact that we can uh, we can take them down uh, based upon their health threshold so you really you want to focus your attacks together on these enemies so that that way it can build up and that way you can actually get more attack more speed up and then really uh, benefiting from taking them down one at a time together with that being said wolverine does end up being the last character here by taking wolverine down you are going to see another massive wave here uh, it's going to consist of shocker mysterio a Vulture, two Venoms, a Rhino, Spider-Man, and Miles. Uh, so just a really, really big cluster here. Um, and to be honest with you, I this is actually where I, um, you know, I started to think about getting in another third character because, you know, I was close to getting Anti-Venom, but uh, I was still waiting on Alien Spore. So this is where I kind of had to wait a couple of days to get him. But um, this is you're gonna see in this wave here. Uh, it's extremely extremely difficult to do with two characters i think you can still do it but it'll just take more attacks and to be honest with you i was only a, a couple of alien spores away and just waiting for refreshing in the shop to actually get anti-venom here but this 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 wave is extremely powerful um due to the fact they have all these negative conditions they have heal blocks so you can see how easily we were wiped out so for me it was just honestly perfect timing i only was a few spores away uh you can see now that i got anti-venom joining the battle he's gonna be placed in the middle while still having carnage as well as symbiote spider-man all separate so that way if there are chain attacks on us not a big deal because they will not uh, carry forward to any adjacency here for our uh, for our team so starting off where we left off now um i was waiting a couple days here to pick them up but you're gonna see now now that we know we got three characters here we got anti-venom providing buffs and he's gonna bring on that defense up that we need as well as a revive it really does change uh change the how this this wave is actually gonna be handled now whereas before i only had carnage and symbiote so here you can see my my AV is actually quite low right now due to the fact that he was stunned. But um, once again, thanks to the fact that Symbiote Spider-Man has the drain, um, by us attacking with both Carnage and Symbiote Spider-Man, doesn't really matter because we can naturally heal up uh, AV. And that, fortunately now he is unstunned. But the key thing in mind is to really take advantage of um, AV's abilities. You really want to do be using his ultimate on um, enemies that have a lot of negative conditions because essentially he gains the opposite of that effect, right? So uh, a character having defense down such as the rhino here um would be able to give us defense up so you really do want to take advantage of that um you can see i use that there and by doing so um it gives me a boatload of conditions with the regen as well as defense up and that's really going to be the key here with that being said i just kind of went with the rhythm here in terms of the overall negative conditions you can see we naturally take a shocker to the top left there just by stunning and adding the slow and bleeds but really i would say the key target to take down in this wave is going to be vulture because vulture takes away from us uh he can suck up our speed so he actually goes against what the symbiote roster synergy is so that's why vulture is a top priority target for this wave addition to that uh, venom uh does have the the heal blocks on us but fortunately venom is uh slow and tanky so I, do, I wouldn't recommend taking down venom but you can see our bleed took out vulture there i would focus on utilizing once again the synergy of the fact that we can um, attack an enemy with our bleeds um we have the iso 8 strikers to really add more bleeding and in addition to that i the getting the speed up from bringing them down to that health threshold thanks to carnage's passive that's really going to be key here in this wave so with that said, we go ahead, um, just trying to finish off Spider-Man, just because he's weaker, finishing him off there. Fast forwarding here to save you guys a little bit of time. You can see that the last three that do remain, because all the other enemies were weaker and squishier, is going to be Rhino and the two Venoms. Because like I said earlier, these guys are tanky, so there's not really a point to taking them down early just to save your guys' uh, momentum. Um, in addition to that, when you get down to these three, this is where I would start kind of just focusing in on them because um, we can take out these three before the next wave and once again um, I love the synergy of AV because his special his ultimate um, really really great synergy with the symbiote roster here and chances are with Rhino being taunting um, he's likely going to be the one that goes down next and really at this point it's just taking down the Venoms that will lead us to the last wave here being Scarlet Witch uh, there's gonna be two Mysterios a Vision a Rhino Miles Spider-Man and as well as an Ant-Man 
So as you see there, we finished off the Venom and this last wave does spawn. So uh, um, the really big one for this one is I did actually stun Scarlet Witch right away. I just didn't want her to have that chance to heal. In addition to that, you can see that I started already going ahead and just attacking and putting all those conditions on her. Um, really taking advantage of our full team roster. And again, um, I didn't use AV's ultimate there because of the fact that we do really want to see if we can use the defense down um, thanks to Symbiote's basic and then use the ultimate. That's really where you're going to get bang, best bang for buck because by having defense up on our roster, it's really going to improve the overall survivability uh, for Dark Dimension 3. With that being said, consistent with our game plan here, uh, Scarlet Witch is going to be the first one to go. And there you can see right there. And at this point, um, looking at this wave right now, there's not really any key targets. I would really just take a look at uh, to see if anybody is weak on the team. But obviously, Miles Morales does have those negative conditions he can put on us. So I don't like him. Ant-Man is really good for ability block as well. So uh, those are the key targets. Vision is also a good one too because he also has a, a an ability block that he can utilize on us. With that being said here, just due to the circumstances for me, I opted to go ahead and go take down Vision actually. Um, and then he goes down naturally with the bleeds. Next, you can see here that thanks to the bleeds once again and just the overall negative conditions, uh, Spider-Man does go down as well. And really, at, with these five guys left, um, at this point, it's really just finishing them off. Uh, we have so much amazing synergy here, uh, thanks to these three, just really taking advantage of the negative conditions, gaining a lot of speed meter from Carnage, as well as having a massive uh, drain and healing, thanks to Symbiote's passive. And I would say when it gets down to at least the two characters here, um, Rhinos can actually probably be one of the last few due to how tanky is. And uh, for me, it was Ant-Man um, just that survived uh, all that all that massive damage and burst. Uh, at this point, I would try to save up energy because again, uh, we got one more node to go here, you guys. But just making sure that we have energy ready to go for the start of the next node is going to be extremely important. So. Um, with that being said here, yep, we're just going to go ahead, just basic, no need to use any specials or ultimates. With that being said, we finish off Rhino there, and again, I'll show you guys the track history here, because it was only one shot once I got AV, but again, in the beginning, I was actually extremely quite confused who I should be taking down, so I hope this video helps you guys. Um, again, to reiterate, stun, um, stun, make sure you stun Lieutenant in the beginning and take down Scarlet Witch, because like again, you can see here, I was just mainly confused and trying to figure out uh, how to start the node in general. So uh, hoping you guys can take advantage of my mistakes. But again, consistent with my previous videos, I started Dark Dimension 3 at 380 days. And as you can see here, it is 403 now. So 23 days have elapsed. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll have one more note to go. I'll see you guys in the next one.